like I want to give opportunities to people I want to create jobs when it's not the festival season I want people to see that there is a lot of circus yes. and arts and artists in WA you don't have to go super far to find really talented people So I'm here with Elaine from uh, A Line in the Air and A Line in the Sky. Oh, um, <laughs> Universe, everything. <laughs> so here we're talking um, WA Extra. Yeah. Please uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. How did it all begin? Where yeah. you're from? And what brought you here to Perth? Okay, so uh, I'm Elaine, as I said. I am from France. Mm -hmm. And I started circus when I was a little kid. I was about eight. Uh, so it's been a good chunk of times, about 20, a bit more than 20 years. Um, and yeah, I just fell in love with circus and doing movement and jumping around mm -hmm. without being judged like in gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, yeah, fell in love, decided to keep doing circus. Um, and then I, yeah, really wanted to do that. So I went to the, the professional circus school. Uh, called Fatalini in Paris and that's four years of intense um, training where you learn everything mm -hmm. about circus and being on stage and movement and yeah after that started working with a bunch of different people mm -hmm. a little bit everywhere um, in Europe in the US and I just really really wanted to travel that was another thing that I was really interested in and so I kind of decided to come to Australia randomly. I know I booked my ticket two weeks before landing, mm -hmm. so that's how quick it went. And I booked my ticket to Perth because it was cheap. <laughs> like, the cheapest. <laughs> let's go there. And, yeah, and so I was like, well, let's go there. Like, there's really quite a lot of uh, traveling to do. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I landed here and it was August and it was really warm. And I was like, I like this. Yeah. This is supposed to be winter. Um, and so, yeah, I started to meet some circus people yep. here. Started teaching. Um, and I yeah, just really, really liked Perth, so I decided to stay and I found like other people that I connected with um, and yeah, wanted to do more performing yes. as well, more creating with other people mm -hmm. and so I um, I just started talking to people basically, yeah. just like, like, hey, what do you want to do, what do you want to do? And so recently I started doing... Um, like an open stage yes. for circus performers, um, for them to just show what they have and try things. Definitely. And, and see what comes out of that while still doing my own personal work um, with music. Definitely. And circus and just linking all of that. Yeah, for sure. So I'll jump back to um, now, but I want to go back to Fratellini and yeah. uh, Circus School and uh, your thing. So silks yes. are your thing. So Tell me about that. <laughs> with silks um i i don't know i really like silks <laughs> uh, at fratellini we do it's an apprenticeship yes so we've got 40 percent of our time that is um work related so work being teach like learning how to teach uh performing mm -hmm. with directors all around france um learning how to manage a company like in the French system, which is slight, very different to <laughs> the Italian system. Mm -hmm. um, and so all of these, and then 60% is like training eight hours a week, uh, no, eight hours a day, five days a week. Um, so quite a lot of training. And um, um, yeah, so we learn like dance and, and theater and finding, yeah, it's, it's finding who you are as an artist. Like, so they want, tell you like this is what you need to do mm -hmm. technically it's more like who are you how can we make this grow mm -hmm. which is what i really like about circus that you can become 
unique. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have to stick to a frame mm-hmm. like it can be in other sports. Um, like it's very free. Like if you want to do an act and it's a circus act, but actually you're not really doing any tricks and it just more dancing with some aerial in there, it's fine yes. because it's circus and it's art. Um, I don't think you could do that in gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah. And so, um, yeah, it was just a really, really amazing That's great. time. And, um, and bringing us back to now. Um, yes. So very similar to um, that world that you're creating with Exhibit, um, yes. which is a project that you're working on. Tell us a little bit more about that. You jumped into yeah. it. but Exhibit is like open stage. Mm-hmm. So I get artists. So I either ask them or they come to me. And I say, hey, I've got this space, that date, are you free? Do you want to show something? And then they say yes or no. If they say yes, I'm like, cool. And that's it. Come that day and the stage will be there for you. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in knowing what you're doing because that's your job. (laughs) Um, And (laughs) it's just an opportunity, like an open micro for a music or for um, a comedian, like just testing out things, Mm -hmm. seeing what can what can work, what can happen, like, is my idea amazing or is it the worst idea <laughs> in the world? Is um, this kind of possible or not? And in a very, very chill environment and very affordable, um, like we've got a bar and yes. everyone's just chilling and chatting and just being together as a community and creating that those links between everyone. Yes. Um, so yeah, it's just, just a chill time. The exhibit shows are 10 bucks because it's like a pint at the pub. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we just want everyone to be able to come and not think like, can I pay for food? Can I go see a show? Like, I think art is crucial in everyone's lives. And if we can make it as affordable as possible yeah. while still paying artists, because all the money of the ticket sales, we go split it, give it to art, the artists. So it's, it's not like I'm not trying to gather money for myself. Mm-hmm. It's really like creating the community and sharing all those resources and showing showcasing opportunity and so yeah i just look forward to doing more of that Mm -hmm. hopefully bring it on tour have like regional Mm -hmm. artists join in and showcase that yeah there's also circus in geraldton and brune like albany and Mm -hmm. i don't know xmouth maybe yeah um everywhere around wa and um and then maybe yeah just keep growing that and doing more contemporary works um, Beautiful. In, in WA. Yeah. And you yourself, I know um, we were talking about this earlier, um, performing to live music. As, yes. uh, I really enjoy performing myself. Uh, yes. It's really interesting to hear you talk about um, putting some of the circus work uh, with like the music work yeah. um, and bringing them together and yeah. how powerful that is. Uh, yeah. So I, I started working with live music a very long time ago. Like the first big show I did with music was about 10 years ago like many musicians mm-hmm. there was like 100 150 singers and an orchestra and like a rock band and like in the massive tent like it was quite incredible and then i did operas like back in france so like opera with like yeah singers and like like baroque band <laughs> like really amazing and um and then here i work with a live musician a guitarist mm-hmm. and a singer and so we've got like a little show that is yeah about bringing the music into the circus and he's not just a musician in the corner like i'm climbing on him i'm doing a (laughs) handstand on him i'm pushing him around and like so it's he's part of the performance he's not just like a backing track Mm -hmm. that you know he's in his corner yeah (laughs) you're both fully engaged in this (laughs) yeah yes um yeah so i think it's it's quite cool to have live music it just changes the vibe definitely of the of a show Mm -hmm. so yeah just feel like looking forward to it makes it a lot easier to find music (laughs) (laughs) this is true (laughs) this is my worst thing i hate finding music it takes so much time because you're like i want something that's kind of instrumental with this sort of beat and stuff and if you go a musician you go like i'm on this kind of style and it's like mm, something like that yeah, yeah more just like amazing yep. you get exactly what you want yeah. to i know that you you teach um and that you work with uh youth yeah. um and adults and yeah tell me about the adult teaching um yeah what's that like for so, you so what i really like is that to show 
whoever comes in that they can do aerials mm -hmm. because a lot of people get put off by I don't have upper body strength and it's like well that's why you do aerials so you can create like you can make it happen so I've been teaching beginners for the last maybe like since July or something so it's like six weeks blocks and the first class most people can't climb the silk and they go up like this much and they're like oh I'm never gonna do it it's <laughs> never gonna happen and I go like okay remember that day like keep this in your mind and then three weeks later so like week three or something um suddenly you can climb there and then you can climb like all the way to the top of the silk but week six most people can climb to the top and so it's really like if you just work with everyone's body and we all have different bodies like some people are small some people are tall some people like have long legs some have short legs mm -hmm. it's just like you can't we can't be the same like mm -hmm. we're all very different humans and so it's just about finding what's your strength yes. and how we can work with your body and so you can do aerials mm -hmm. because i really think that pretty much everyone can do aerials um there's always a way to make you go up there <laughs> like literally so, get out so, there. so yeah it's really i really like seeing that the people being surprised mm -hmm. at what they've achieved yes. so usually week six i go like okay let's just do all the all the little tricks that we've learned mm -hmm. in the last six weeks and they go like oh wow actually that's a lot more than i thought mm -hmm. and it's so nice to see that like it's you, i think it feels very empowering mm -hmm. for someone who because sometimes it's people who kind of gave up on going to the gym and training because yes. it's a, such a different way of doing your conditioning and like i mean i never go to the gym like ever i don't think <laughs> i've set foot in a gym in my life <laughs> because my gym is a piece of steel hanging up in mm -hmm. the air a piece of fabric hanging up in the air like it's i just find how i can do my training and my abs and my whatever yes with my circus equipment so yes. when it happens i don't actually realize that it's happening it's just part of my training yes and um yeah i think that's what's really interesting for for people and coordination and understanding like left right left foot right mm -hmm. foot like where my head is where like what muscle am i engaging mm -hmm. i mean engaging like my abs or my biceps or, like, yes. and so um for adults i think it's really really important Um, yes to just move in yes. general and move in a way that's not judgmental mm -hmm. even more important mm -hmm. um so yeah that's kind of what i like about that's powerful adults. Yeah. you are talking about that uh awareness yeah. um mind body awareness yeah, exactly. um, and being aware of where you are and like yeah. where you can potentially go yeah i have hope wait i'll go on the other side I'm not sure. yeah yeah sure. yeah that's I'm it there. come through yeah and then knees on the bar right. yeah great and then you put your hands high great and then you grab. push you're sitting yeah grab. look at you you're already on the trapeze <laughs> so now we go sideways sideways yeah put your uh, right hand a little bit lower More. yeah and then you're gonna lean back legs together straight and then push your hips out push 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 Yay! That's it! <laughs> that takes a lot of energy. Yeah! <laughs> Good! And going on to your knees. So back to knees. Back to your so knees. you slide back to your knees, knees together. Just together. Yeah. Okay. So grab your hands here and just like bring your knees a bit more. So yeah, pushing down. Mm -hmm. And then do you think you can take off your hands? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And catching back. Good. Legs off and coming back down amazing <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> <High five. laughs> yes. you know like when you mess with the range you realize like yeah. oh, i can do some of this stuff yeah but then some of it like when you're holding on to that rope yeah. it's completely yeah. different like tell me about this space yeah. um here at circus circus yes. <laughs> um so circus is where i come and train i come and teach come and do shows um it's a non-for-profit circus school it's pretty cool and it's all about um sharing circus to the community and being inclusive and the um, director of the school is a occupational therapist so we have a strong interest in helping uh kids mainly mm -hmm. uh find their way of moving and understanding like proprioception all those things through circus 
And she's an amazing person who really wants her space to support artists in WA. So, um, yeah, we've got a really nice connection. Yes. Uh, so we can um, perform and organize events and organize our own rehearsals and all of that. And so lately, my main two projects are exhibit every couple of months um, that we turn this space into a stage with many chairs that are currently stacked under the stairs. <laughs> and we take away all the mats and we've got lights, we've got sound systems, so the drapes are here. So it's really easy to turn it into a show space. And then the rest of the time, we put all the mats back down and we've got a trampoline right behind here. We've got like five or six silks, two rigging points, like five trapezes, Chinese bowl, German wheels. Like we've got <laughs> Get the whole works here. Yes. Everything you can think <laughs> yeah, of. I, I do see everything. Yeah. Here. <laughs> so it's really like a bunch of everything, like juggling stuff in the corner. Now we're in my element. Now we're in my element. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it, Can we toss? Wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it. Oh, uh, I did! It worked! Yeah, you did! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta have a really good way to get it right, right there. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so we, we just do some classes, like school holiday classes, yep. art classes, like art days, camps regular classes for kids to adults like I think it's 18 months is the youngest okay until doesn't really matter <laughs> just come do circus come do some circus <laughs> and like right now another project is the we've got a performance troupe yep. it's teenagers they're between tw I think 12 and 16 yes and so we're like I'm currently directing their show for Fringe World uh, that's going to be called Revolve and it's really a show about transmission, connection, community, being together. And it's the teenagers, and then we've got four professional artists in them. Okay. Um, and that's including me and Isabel, and uh, another teacher, um, Michael, and Leighton, who's a third wheel artist. That's so great. It's like a big ring that you spin. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's a, like, yeah, trying to get together and be a community and uh, Beautiful. writing a show about that. Beautiful. Yeah. That's awesome. And uh, any dates for it? Oh, yeah. So Revolve is 18th of January until 25th yep. of January gotcha. at the Pleasure Garden. In yes. Utah. Come see it. It's going to be amazing. Yep. I am not be aced when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> Some shows have been cancelled, but are there any like oh, uh, there up and coming artists that you... <laughs> uh, I think my the show that really poof, like took me so I saw the premiere back in November, end of November. It's called She Is Strong. Yes. And it's three women, incredible women doing circus, just being themselves. Yes. Raw, like, just you're on stage and this is who I am. And yes. And there's no trying to be more than what you are, mm -hmm. like more than what you are, more than, it's just me on stage doing something. And it just, I was crying half the show. Uh, because it's so powerful to Amazing. see women mm -hmm. doing what they do That's great. and sharing their stories. And it's coupled with a photography mm -hmm. exhibition. So really interesting to see sort of behind the scenes and yeah. like, uh, yeah, vulner I think vulnerability is the seeing vulnerability on stage. Yes. And that vulnerability turning into something so powerful. Yes. Is like, wow. Yep. And so if there is one show <laughs> that you can afford... It's not even my show. Like, honestly, she is strong as a man. She is strong, for sure. No, that's a good tip. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for Sorry. talking to us here at WA Extra. I'm looking forward to hanging out with you a little bit later and uh, seeing what's happening in the world and yeah. the world of the artists that you bring together.